Thank you for joining me today. You guys thought it'd be fun if we take a good look at Transformers Generation Legacy Evolution Comic Universe Bludgeon. Let's bring them up closer. We don't have a plastic window, but that does give us a better opportunity to take a closer look at Bludgeon, and this guy is just looking phenomenal. I love the product art that we have for his in his tank mode. I love the product art that we have for his robot mode. Definitely looks threatening. And here on the back says we can convert him to 27 steps. And here we have the promotion art for Legacy Evolution. So let's get Bludgeon out of packaging. Ooh. You know what we say? Goodbye, Fox. And we have instructions. Yay! Looks like we have goodies here on the back. Let's just get them out of the way. There we go. There we have Bludgeon. So, let's free Bludgeon out of packaging. Alright, first impressions. This guy is just... I he, he speaks for himself. This, this guy is just right out of the box. He's just awesome. Um, plastic feels good. Um, I'm loving the coloring that we have, but that head sculpt, that head sculpt is just phenomenal. It's just, it's awesome. I love the, the purple Decepticon logo that we have here. It looks like we have a transparent um, orange. It looks like it's the same thing we have here in the back, just painted green. Uh, we do have red here. We do have green, I said orange, and we have orange here, green and red. So I actually really liking the color deco to this. This is looking really awesome. Let's see, articulation for this guy. Uh, let's see, we can, he can turn his head. Uh, doesn't look like he can rotate at 360, but you know, turn it to the side that far, that's nice. Uh, see, we do have the arm can rotate 360. There is a shoulder joint. That's just due to transformation. Uh, we do have a bicep swivel. We have an elbow joint. We do have wrist articulation. And he has open hands, or we have a, a knuckle with the hands open. So that's really, really awesome. So, and he also has a waist articulation, but it looks like the back can only get it so far. So that's, it's okay. Uh, he can do the splits. Uh, he does have a thigh swivel. Let's see, we do have a knee joint and he can get it back like there and he can get it, that's nice. That's even better. He can bring it up that high. That's really nice. Man, this is an ankle articulation, but the feet articulation is just really nice. You can get this in really nice poses. This is becoming really phenomenal right now. Bludgeon's accessories. So he definitely comes with his sword, and this is just looking really awesome. I just love the little details that we're getting here in the sword itself. That is really nice. So let's just have him wield his sword. And that is just, that is fitting awesomely. I love the cannons that we are getting. Uh, they look like they're a transparent, I guess, some sort of orange. So they kind of pop really nicely. And it does come for his backpack for his turret. So I'm just going to get these lined up. We do have those two holes, so I guess it doesn't really matter. It's all to your preference. And if we want, attach it to the back. So we have that going. You can actually wield his cannon that way. So there's a lot of different ways you can move this around. Like if you just remove I guess the guns and you just make it one long one now we're just going to attach this on the back out of the way so let's take this sword and since there is a port 
I'm just going to stick it right here for right now. So it's right out of the way. So he can wield his awesomely long gun. And this is this is a, a, an incredible figure right now. This bludgeon figure is just knocking it out of the park. To transform bludgeon. We're going to have to remove his accessories, so we're going to do that. And we're just going to split the cannons apart. There we go. Come here to the back. Remove the backpack. Remove the sword. Now, since we have those ports and holes, we're just going to attach them together. Actually, let's get this one on this side. So we have a flat, flushed piece right there. Place it out to the side. Take this back piece, and we're just going to take it, rotate it, and now since there's these little notches, we're just going to line it up with those holes. There we go. And we want to get these arms straight up, and we want to remove the chest as much as possible. We want to make sure that this is sticking up. So now we can now move that head right there. And now we can bring those out, the treads, and then we can flip that back like so. There we go. And since we have a little notch and hole, that will just fit just right there and we have okay we want to well I say we bend at a different joint right here in the back of the leg so I recommend of bending those first bring the toes all the way in and we're just going to snap them together and now and we want to bring that right there and the hands just like that because this hole will go in that peg right there and so we're going to need that joint to bend just like so so we're looking at this right now so we want to bend right in there, and it will go right in that hole. We can take this, this will come up, so you want just like that. We can come to this tread part and open it up onto the side, there we go, and now we can flip this all the way in come on there we go there we go and now we do have like a peg that will go in that hole that will close up actually those are supposed to be down there we go all right same thing on the other side bring this over and that will snap into place we have that peg that will go right in there we go Oops, sorry. And this is actually going to collapse down. There we go. And now what's going to happen since we have these pegs and those holes, we're just going to close up on that. We're almost done with bludgeon. Now we're just going to place them down for right now. So since we have these two slots they're going to go right into those holes so now now whoop wait a minute now that we have a sword we can place it in one of these ports right here fit right in there so there we go and here we have Bludgeon, fully transformed into his Cybertronian tank mode. 
And I am loving this. I know it's the Tarn, like, mold, but I think Bludgeon is wearing it better. I am, I'm loving how the transparent orange pops in the light. I just, I think he has a better color scheme. I'm just loving, just Bludgeon better. I just love the coloring that we have, the black for the treads. The orange, the green, the sword on the side, the cannons on top. I am just really, really loving this mold for bludgeon. Well, my only disappointment, they have these little nudges that were, I guess they had intended to put little wheels so it could actually roll. And if they did that, this would have been absolutely perfect. But it just slides. That's a little sad. Let's play a little game of who wears it better? Bludgeon or Torn? Let me know in the comments down below. To transform Bludgeon back into his robot mode, we're going to have to remove his accessories. So let's remove his sword. Let's remove his cannons. We're going to come here to the back. We're just going to bring the legs out. We are then going to come here to the bottom, bring these treads out, there we go. And now we want to bend it there, close it, and close that up. There we go. So we want to bring that in. So there is a peg with a hole right there, so that will line up. And then you can just go ahead, because there is a peg with that hole, so you just go ahead and close that up as well we're just going to flip those around bring these out and we're just going to flip that out and we're just going to leave the arms where they're at right now we're going to come here to the back extend it flip around bring the antennas up more guns and now we're going to move this part of the chest up as we bring these treads around and they will slide back in there we go the chest will first we need to get the head out there we go there we go oh no Once we have the head out, that's where we can actually close up on the chest. There we go. Bring the arms down. And straighten them out as we rotate the hand around. Bring that arm down. Rotate at the hand. There we go. We want to bring, so we do have these pegs. We do have holes, so we just want to get that lined up. Come to his feet, get his feet all situated, and now, almost, and now we have Bludgeon fully transform into his robot mode. All right, who wears it better? Is it Bludgeon or is it Tarn? I would like to know your thoughts in the comments down below. My final thoughts. This is an incredible figure. I know he's just the same mold as Tarn, but there's something about that head sculpt, the color scheme that we have here. I just prefer this better. There's nothing wrong with Tarn. It's a great figure as well, but I just have something about Bludgeon. He's my favorite. This is an incredible... I can't, I can't wait to have him on my shelf. I am so happy he's part of my collection. I don't think anybody should really pass up on this figure. This figure is just too amazing. The posability, just the, the, the sculpt of this is just awesome. You won't be disappointed. Well, with that said, I just want to thank you all for watching. If you could just do me a favor and hit the like and subscribe button down below... Let me know in the comments if you think he's shelf worthy. And until next time, you'll be hearing me in the next video. 
everybody have a great day!